CBB's bedtime story. Right, OK. Well, with the camera, I think we're ready to go, Teddy. Hello, I'm Ramesh, and I've been on adventures all around the world. I've even seen a polar bear. But tonight's journey is extra special. I'm searching for a yeti. Do you want to come too? Great. Tonight's bedtime story is called Henry and the Yeti by Russell Ato. Henry loves yetis. Yes, yetis. Yet nobody knows if yetis actually exist. Yetis, says Henry's father. Hmm, nobody actually knows. But Henry is sure yetis do exist. So he will go on an expedition to find one. Henry asks his head teacher if he can miss school to go on the expedition. Yetis, says the head teacher. They don't exist. This is a school announcement. Henry is going on an expedition to find a Yeti. Everybody laughs. <laughs> and if you do happen to see one, says the head teacher, don't forget to bring back some evidence. Henry packs all the equipment he needs for the expedition. A waterproof hammock, a compass, a telescope, a climbing rope, and a camera to take pictures for evidence. Now Henry is ready. Remember, no staying up late, says Henry's father. Henry is surprised that it's not that difficult finding the way to the mountains, but it is a long way. Out of the city, across an ocean, up a hill, over a river, and through a dense forest, all without staying up late, until the mountains. Henry climbs up one mountain, after another, searching everywhere for a yeti. But Henry finds nothing. There is no sign of a yeti anywhere, not even a suspicious looking footprint. Henry was sure yetis do exist, but now he isn't so sure. Maybe he should just turn around and go right back. Oh! Henry sees a yeti. The yeti sees Henry. The yeti is slightly bigger than Henry expects, and more friendly. Henry takes pictures of the Yeti for evidence. Then they play hide and seek. Now it is time for Henry to go home. Henry is surprised that it's more difficult knowing the way back. So he uses his compass to find the right way home. Well, says Henry's father, I didn't stay up late once, says Henry. No, says Henry's father. Did you see a yeti? Oh, yes, says Henry. Yetis do exist, and I've brought back the evidence. Henry unpacks all the equipment. A climbing rope, a telescope, a compass, and a waterproof hammock. Wait a minute. No camera. No camera, says Henry. No camera, no evidence, says Henry's father. No evidence, says Henry. No evidence, says the head teacher. Write me 10 million lines for making things up. Yetis, indeed. Everybody laughs. <laughs> what can Henry do now? He is not making things up. He did see a yeti. Yetis do exist. But nobody, except his own father, believes him. Oh! Henry sees the Yeti again. The Yeti sees Henry. The head teacher sees the Yeti. And everybody stops laughing. Now the head teacher is having a lie down. The Yeti gives Henry back his camera. Henry is thinking he'll probably not have to write 10 million lines after all. Henry loves yetis. 
Yes, yetis. What a brilliant adventure. Henry was determined to find out if yetis exist. And they do. They're even pretty friendly and brilliant at playing hide and seek, despite being massive. Now it's time for you to go to sleep. Maybe you'll play hide and seek with a yeti in your dreams. I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Night. For more bedtime stories, head to CBeebies or BBC iPlayer.